Good evening, everyone. In tonight's free video, I want to do a quick look at gold. I've gotten a lot of questions of where I think gold is headed because it's been on a downtrend here. Not so much of a downtrend, but just pulling back. Um, and my analysis is basically telling me that now that we've broken below this low, that uh, I expect to see a one. We've got a break and a close. I'm looking at a four hour chart here, by the way. Uh, gold. This is the. Um, Need to change my color here. Uh, so gold on a 240 minute chart. This is the February contract. Okay. Also keep in mind that rollover day is Thursday. So there's going to be some uh, switching going on for the next couple of days on the futures markets, uh, especially the indexes. So right here, uh, we've broken below this low here and we've closed below it. So my expectation is uh, at the very minimum, 127 extension, which you see is around 1111, and then possibly 1618, which is around 1180. Okay, so uh, somewhere in this level, I would expect it to try and hold um, in between here. Uh, if it can, uh, then we could get a pop up. What's interesting about those levels is if we pop over to a daily, by popping over to a daily right here, you see that 127 extension and uh, is meeting at some some critical areas here. So from the swing low here to this swing high, what you'll notice is we've come into some uh, interesting points now. Uh, we just today breached the 50% retracement on the daily chart, okay? Right here from this basic swing, right? So we consolidated here, swing from here, swing low, swing high, and we touched the 50% retracement. Now, if this thing can break, uh, and continue going lower. Now it doesn't have to, but my expectation, like I said, is 11.11, puts us right shy of that 6.18 retracement. So somewhere in this level here, I would expect it to hold. If it breaks below here, then we could come down to this 1618 and we also have some support right here. But typically, you'd normally expect it to hold that 50 to 618 area, okay? It might not do it, but if it does, uh, then somewhere between in this you know five to seven dollar range you might expect it to hold so I'll be watching it carefully uh, tomorrow uh, to see if there's any more upward pressure on the dollar obviously if there is that will drive gold a little bit lower and uh, could drive the stock market some more down some more so uh, that's all that I'm looking at for t as far as gold is and uh, that's how I'm that's how I'd look at it uh, for that so if you guys have any questions uh, feel free to ask. Uh, hope you have good trading and we'll see you guys at the next video update.